Hey everyone, it's Alexandra here and welcome back to another video. Today I am setting up for 2019 in my bullet journal and I am in the middle of my Loith term. I am not starting a new bullet journal for 2019 because I, I just don't like leaving a bullet journal like halfway done. But regardless of whether or not you're starting a new bullet journal or you're continuing with your old one or your current one, um, it's always super important to set the tone in a positive way in your bullet journal. Um, with goals, intentions. Um, this year, I am also doing affirmations and a vision board. I decided to make my bullet journal very symbolic of where I want to see myself. So for the theme for my 2019 pages and also for January, I went with a mountain theme, you know, being at the top of the mountain just or climbing to the top of the mountain and being the best version of yourself that you can be. As you well know, if you've been following me for a while now, I always do a word of the year. And for this year, my word is light. It has a lot of significance for me. And I was just gravitating towards that word. And it really holds meaning in a lot of different areas of my life. And I want to carry that into the new year. Um, also, for those of you that are curious as far as the Tombow colors that I'm using, I will have that all linked down below. Um, but these are part of the new set of Tombows that they've recently released last month, just so you know. Um, but again, setting the tone for a new year in your bullet journal is very, very important. And I can't wait to show you what I've come up with. So a spread that is tried and true for me is my future log. I am currently finishing up my future log. It ended in December, so this is very fitting and timely that I needed to do a new future log. I'm keeping with the vertical layout. It allows for a lot of space for lots of different events and things that I have to do come in the upcoming months. Uh, I carried the mountain theme towards the bottom with a little mountainscape, but this is my favorite layout for the future log. Very simple, little mini calendars, leaves a lot of space for uh, future tasks and events. And again, tried and true spread, so I love it. So this is the spread that I'm most excited to share with you guys. And this is something that for me is very near and dear to my heart. And that is a vision board. Um, a vision board is basically when you compile a bunch of images, quotes, affirmations to set the tone for um, a new year and where you want to see yourself and what you want to manifest in your life. It's basically using the law of attraction if you guys are into that sort of a thing. But basically the last time I did a vision board was nine years ago when I was in a very... Um, not so great place in my life. And I am a huge believer in them because within four months of creating my vision board, I met my husband, I got engaged a year later, and basically 90% of the things that I had on my vision board came true. And I'm a huge believer that because I did that in December of whatever, 2009 was it, that it really helped set the tone for the next chapter of my life. So basically I use an app called Subliminal Vision Boards and it basically, it's a no mess way. You don't need magazines or anything. You just compile Google images. You search for the things that you want to put in. It even has Zen music that you can listen to to kind of get you in a vibe, a higher vibe to create your vision board. And it includes affirmations that you can put in and you could save the image and I printed it on label paper and I'm so excited that I have this in my bullet journal. Please check this app out. It's amazing. Subliminal vision boards. So speaking of affirmations and setting a positive 
tone for 2019. I am compiling a list of my favorite affirmations. One of my favorite Instagram accounts dealing with affirmations is the Affirmation Addict. Check her out. She's great. Um, so I'm going to compile a longer list than what you see here. Uh, but I just, you know, put a couple examples down. And then in conjunction with my affirmation page, um, I'm going to set my goals and intentions for four different areas of my life for 2019, home, relationships, wealth or finances, and self-care in the hopes that I can really elevate and be the best version of myself possible. So here is the final flip through of my 2019 spreads. I decided to keep it again very simple and not really go overboard, but I really wanted to keep the pages that were near and dear and I felt were going to be the most effective going into the new year. Again, if you are starting a brand new bullet journal for 2019, there are so many more things that you can include. Um, especially if you want to start new collection pages for books that you want to read or, um, or anything along those lines. But I really hope that this inspires you to really kind of get your mind right and to set the tone uh, for a positive, beautiful 2019. I hope you all have a great new year, a wonderful holiday season, and stay tuned in the next couple of days. Um, and I will show you how I set up my January setup. And until next time, guys, have a great holiday season, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.